Hey, what's up guys? Today, I'll show you a musical fantasy adventure film, Aladdin. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. Aladdin is an incredible film with a powerful message for this generation. It's enlightening for everyone, especially for women to finally break the norm. Over the years, women have been subjected to discrimination. The majority of our society views women as weak, frail, and dependent on marriage in order to survive. Women in the past have limited opportunities in society. For instance, they are not allowed to work. They only have to stay at home and manage everything. People view women's voices as inefficient, and most especially, women are prohibited in leadership roles. Princess Jasmine, one of the protagonists of this film, on the other hand, flipped the norm in this story. It can be clearly seen in this film how the Sultan encourages her to marry a man. She has to marry a man in order for her to manage their palace. Although Princess Jasmine insists that she can do it, the Sultan finds her inadequate to dominate the position. However, she courageously raises her voice in defense of her rights. She proves that gender is not an issue to become a qualified leader. In this film, she demonstrates that even a girl can be a reliable Sultan. Overall, this movie is an ideal example of contributing to a shift in our cultural norms by the demonstrations of the scenes in this film. The movie begins with a family sailing their ship in the sea. A girl calls her brother as she sees a gigantic boat. She expresses her wish to own a fancy boat similar to what they are seeing. Her father hears it, so he intervenes in their conversation. He tells the uniqueness of their ship. The siblings get interested in listening, and their father starts to tell a story about Aladdin, the princess, and the lamp. He begins telling it by singing the story. He begins by describing Agraba, the faraway place and mystical land, which is the central location of the whole story. It is Arabian night. During Arabian nights, people do shopping, dancing, hanging out, and more. Everyone is busy with their errands. There, you can see a palace with a beautiful princess living there. Also, in Agraba, you can find a cave where the magic lamp is placed. In this cave, several people use to chase the lamp, but the lion head tells that only one person could chase it, and that person is a diamond from the rough. The next scene goes on a sunny day. A lady approaches Aladdin to ask the name of his monkey. Aladdin gladly answers the lady. His monkey's name is Abu. While the lady is talking to him, another lady comes in to steal his thing. But they barked at the wrong tree. Aladdin is way better than them. After a few seconds, the lady asks for a backup, and Aladdin escapes to safeguard himself by running like a veteran thief in action movies. A beautiful lady is roaming around the city, and she sees some children who are starving. Out of her kindness, she gives them bread that she doesn't pay for. As a consequence, the owner is now commanding her to pay, but she doesn't have any money. The owner sees her bracelet, but this beautiful lady refuses to give it. Out of her luck, Aladdin enters the scene to help her. He tells the beautiful lady to give her a bracelet while looking into her eyes. She surrenders it, but later on, Aladdin manages to steal it. As soon as the owner learns about the missing bracelet, he quickly follows Aladdin to chase it. The beautiful lady puts her trust in Aladdin and follows his instructions. Their journey takes them into many episodes of escaping. They run, jump, hide, and finally succeed in escaping. At this point, Aladdin walks her to a secret place. The beautiful lady finds his place stunning. His place is on the top where you can see the whole city. They start to have a chat, but the lady sees a ship going to the palace. Due to that, she tells Aladdin that she needs to go back and ask him to give her back the bracelet. But unfortunately, Aladdin leaves it in his house, and the beautiful lady gets disappointed and concludes that she's naive to trust a thief. The beautiful lady leaves Aladdin, and a soldier gets upset with Aladdin because he's blocking his path and leaves a word in front of many people that he is worthless, riffraff, and a rat. Aladdin gets emotional and starts to walk his way home thinking about those words. He believes that their judgments are wrong, and he is way beyond those words. A prince from Scanlan arrives at the palace to court the princess. However, the princess doesn't like him. Jaffer is persuading the Sultan, imposing his views that the princess has to marry someone, and suggests invading Shurabad. During their conversation, the princess intervenes, and the Sultan confronts her about the importance of her marriage. The princess finds their conversation unjust. So she walks away going to her room and starts to sing, expressing her feelings. The lyrics contain words of hope, bravery, and the need to speak. Aladdin enters the palace to return the bracelet. He knocks on the door, and the princess opens it. She is surprised to see Aladdin. The princess couldn't imagine how he managed to pass all the guards on duty. But Aladdin answers that he pretends to be one of the palace inhabitants. Dahlia sees them, and the princess makes a sign to pretend to be the princess. Dahlia does good acting. As much as the princess wants Aladdin to stay with her, she has no choice but to ask him to leave. Aladdin promises the princess that she will meet him again tomorrow. When Aladdin is on his way home, someone blocks his path, 
chases him and brings him to the cave as Jafar believes that he is the diamond from the rough. Aladdin meets Jafar now. Jafar discloses why he brings Aladdin to the cave, and tells that the lady he is talking with is Jasmine, the princess of that palace. He adds that Jasmine is just toying with him to hide her identity. Jafar starts to tell all his reasons, and makes a promise that he could get what he wishes if he could get the lamb. Out of his desire to have a change in his situation, Aladdin accepts the deal and risks his life in chasing the lamb. There inside, he meets a magic carpet that is caught in between a rock. After these, he climbs on a rocky and steep ladder, and successfully gets the lamp. Not long after, the lion head starts to growl in anger, and tells Aladdin that he will no longer see the light in the morning. A lava starts to fill the cave, but the magic carpet saves Aladdin until the fire is gone. Aladdin gets amused on the lamp and unconsciously rubs it, and while rubbing, a genie suddenly comes out. Aladdin can't really believe what he sees, and the genie starts to express his gratitude to Aladdin, and discloses that he is the most powerful creature in the universe. As a token, the genie tells him that he could make three wishes. So Aladdin does his first wish to get him out of the cave, and the genie does it. In a sunny desert, the genie and Aladdin do some chatting. They exchange thoughts and enlighten Aladdin more on his powers. Aladdin gets excited and starts to request his second wish to become a prince. At this point, the genie uses his powers to turn his wish into reality. They are now on their way to meet Jasmine in the palace. But this time, Aladdin is now Prince Ali. Everyone is amusing during the entourage. The entourage is not a typical walk as it has many twists. Some of his servants are performing, swaying the beat of the music while raising their beautiful voices. The Sultan and everyone gets impressed by their musical and dance entourage. As a result, the Sultan allows them to enter the palace. At this point, Aladdin meets the Sultan. As Princess Jasmine arrives to meet him, he begins to pay respect and offers everything he has but Aladdin fails to impress Jasmine and walks away. But on the other hand, the Sultan still invites him for dinner to give Aladdin a chance. During their dinner, Aladdin lacks confidence, so the genie uses his magic to control Aladdin. Jasmine invites him to dance. Everyone is now cheering and clapping their hands as Aladdin dominates the dance floor. Jasmine is now impressed but chooses to hide it, thanks to the powers of genie. The genie, on his human appearance, knocks on the door of Jasmine. To his surprise, Dahlia welcomes and entertains him. This genie is wise because he knows how to capture the heart of Dahlia, and eventually agrees on him to have a date for a while. Jasmine is now alone, and Aladdin enters the room quietly. They have a bit of chat, and Aladdin invites Jasmine for a date. Jasmine tells him that it's impossible to pass the guards, but Aladdin shows her the magic carpet. When Jasmine sees it, she takes advantage of the benefits of the magic carpet, and begins to fly while venturing into the beauty of their city. While flying, Jasmine reveals that she knows that Prince Ali and Aladdin are just one person. Aladdin hides his true identity and later takes her again to her room and gives her a sweet hood nighttime massage. On the following day, Aladdin is about to tell the truth to Jasmine, but the servants of Jaffer chases him. Jaffer is forcing him to tell the truth about his identity, but Aladdin stands on his principles. So Jaffer loses control and pushes him on the balcony. Aladdin is now sinking in the oceans. Luckily, his mates save him, and the genie wakes him up to request a wish to him, but he is now unconscious. Since the genie can't bear his situation, he breaks the rules to use his magic to save him. Jaffer is now inside the dungeon, as a consequence of his deed against Aladdin. But Jaffer manages to escape and steal the lamp from Aladdin. Jaffer is now the owner of the lamp. Currently, he takes advantage of the benefits of this lamp. As to his first wish, he tells the genie to make him the sultan of the palace, so the genie does. Even though he doesn't like it, he has no choice. Jasmine and the Sultan enter the door and see Jaffer sitting on the throne. Without further ado, he explains that he is now the Sultan, and quickly tells his servant to take away Jasmine at his front. Jasmine abides shortly, but she realizes that she has to speak up and amplify her voice to fight for justice. So Jasmine walks to persuade Hakim to take their side, as Hakim has the control to command all the soldiers. Hakim realizes who he must follow. So he apologizes to Jafar and explains that he will join the side of Jasmine. Due to these, Jafar bursts into anger and makes a wish to the genie to make him a powerful sorcerer. Jafar is now enjoying all his privileges and about to kill the original Sultan. Since the Sultan and Dahlia are about to die, Jasmine stops Jafar and tells him that she is willing to grant his wish to marry her. Shortly after, the wedding starts. At this point, Jafar is impatiently waiting for the approval of Jasmine to finally marry her. But Jasmine refuses and chases the lamp in his pocket. Jasmine sprints to jump off the balcony. Everyone is now scared because they thought Jasmine committed suicide. 
But they are surprised because Aladdin and his magic carpet caught her. Jaffer is bursting in anger now. So he quickly uses his magic to turn his parrot into an outraging bird to chase them. Soon after, the lamp gets caught, and he uses his last wish to make him the most powerful being in the universe. And the genie does it. So currently, Jaffer turns into a genie and is about to use his magic to make a disaster in the palace. But sadly, he cannot use its power until someone rubs the lamp and requests that wish. Everything now goes back to normal. The Sultan gives his blessing to Jasmine to be the next ruler of their palace as he sees how she courageously fights against Jafar. The movie ends when Jasmine commands Aladdin to stop walking, and they eventually marry each other. And finally, the genie turns back into its original form because Aladdin takes advantage of his last wish to free the genie on its lamp. Everyone is now blissful in celebrating the victory they achieved. This is Daniel's CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your fun for today.